After a cold season opener, hear what the hunters have to say about the warmer weather maybe affecting their attitudes, but not necessarily the deer totals. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this late edition of News 3 at 10. I'm Jennifer Hoff. This year's deer hunt wrapped up today. The closing weekend, obviously, much more comfortable than that blistering cold hunters had to bear for the opener. And we sent Danica <laughs> Lewis out to uh, see how that swing in temperatures really played into this season. I don't know if you could have paid me enough to be <laughs> out last weekend, Jennifer, but some people enjoyed it still. And DNR Warden saw fewer hunters, though, out for the start of this season. On top of that, they say the animals could have been more hidden from hunters last weekend, trying to keep themselves warm. Give you a buck tag. At Wilderness Fish and Game in Sauk City. There you go. Registrations have been rolling in this post Thanksgiving weekend. This one right here. Melissa Rolstad is thankful she could last longer than three hours in her tree stand. Nobody wants to sit out in the cold for four hours if in like two degree temperature. She scored a buck this weekend after struggling to keep the frostbite out of her fingers last weekend. Then it just starts getting miserable. <laughs> Dad Brad was out with his daughter Sunday, but braved the elements up north for the season opener. Can't deny that, it was chilly. If this registration site gives any indication of deer totals, the frigid cold didn't keep hunters out of the woods. They tagged more than 300 deer here the first two days of the season, more than half of the 550 they saw in all. It doesn't mean last week was easy. At least that's what Chuck Pullman hears at the store. They couldn't stay in the woods long enough in order to do what they got to do, you know. I mean, a lot of people were only out there a couple hours. Uh, some of them made it through the day, but... Uh, but they really struggled. It was it was a tough weekend for hunters. For the Rollstads, the points on a buck isn't the point at all. The time together is the biggest thing. They'll grin and bear the cold for that time together. Honestly, I think it's always worth it because if you get a deer, it's the memories that really count. Well, we won't see the preliminary statewide totals for the deer hunt until Tuesday, but along with the deer shot and that instant gratification, Wilderness Fish and Game saw some of its own. Thanks to last weekend's weather, the store sold a lot more hand warmers, coats, and anything else that could keep you from not freezing in a tree stand. They said some of it sold out, so they actually made a little profit off of that chill. Come on, I thought Wisconsinites were hardy. I know. Well, that's the thing. We, we ask them about being tough, but some, you know, <laughs> once your fingers get cold, you can't really pull a trigger too well. Right. It just, it kind of gets in the way. So, well, give again, them a lot of credit. Exactly, exactly. Tough enough. Danica, thank <laughs> you. Thank you. you.